Look at those teeth. Great minds thinking like, <laughs> folks, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC. We're right here every Sunday morning, 7 a.m. You awake at 7 a.m.? I am awake at 7 a.m. I am not, so DVR it if you don't like it. 7 a.m. on WMDT 47 ABC. We're in our 20th year, and we appreciate you guys being along with us. So in our 20th year, what are we going to do? We're going to go fishing with this guy a couple of times. <laughs> we usually do it in the spring. We usually do it sometime in the summertime, and then we usually do it in the fall. We're figuring stuff out as we go. But we had a great time last year fishing with C.L. Marshall over here on the Wakamaku River for white perch. We absolutely slayed them. So that's what we're going to do again. Stay tuned after the break. White perch, catfish. We'll see if we can do something with the invasive species population here in Maryland. Stick around after the break. Hooked on OC is coming at you. We'll be right back with more Hooked on OC. Taylor Marine Center is your clear choice for your boating needs. Explore premium brands like Grady White, Boston Whaler, Regal, World Cat, and Barletta Pontoons. With two convenient locations to serve you, we're your go-to boating solution on Delmarva. Our award-winning customer service sets us apart, dedicated to making your boating dreams a reality. For the best experience in boating, it's Taylor Marine. Visit us today in Ocean City, Maryland and Milford, Delaware, where excellence meets the open water. Welcome to Premier Coatings and Flooring, your local experts in durable flooring solutions. Enhance your space with PCF's expertise in epoxy flooring, polished concrete, and industrial painting. Our applicators are driven by knowledge and passion, experienced in commercial flooring that combines style and functionality. PCF has worked with the local businesses in every industry. We even installed decorative epoxy floors for garages in a single day. PCF, building the mid-Atlantic region with flooring that works as hard as you do. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City beach and boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. Welcome back, and now for some more Hooked on OC. Catfish. Water channel, cat. Well, you know what? We'll take, we'll take, we'll talk more about this, but CL and I are also fishing during Invasive Species Month here in Maryland, uh, and that's one of them. So the goal behind Invasive Species Month is get as many of these things out of the water as you can. <laughs> yeah, this is a small one. You know, they'll get bigger through the day, but uh, this blue channel cat, you talk about a delicious thing to eat, yeah, Scott. Man. Yeah, uh, they're, they're a, little a lot bit, of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people think it's just a catfish, catfish, yep. but uh, the blue, these, you know, I got to tell you, these hooks on these are uh, deadly tackle birch rigs they're pretty sticky man but yeah we'll, we'll hopefully we'll get a big big large one here soon oh here's something got him yep. got him. Scotty. 
This might be perchy. I hope so. Looks perchy. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's perchy, guys. He's perchy, guys. There we go. Target species acquired. Yeah, baby. All right, made a little move. The main body of the river was not productive enough for us getting started. Um, so we made a little move up the creek here. And CL's not afraid to tell where we're fishing. Where are we fishing, CL? We're in the Wakamaka River. There it is, folks. <laughs> About 15 miles um, southwest, I guess, of Salisbury. And it can be, oh, he's not getting all that worm. It can be pretty good down here, man. Um, especially March, probably April time frame. Yeah, now They're around year round. Now the time. They're in that round year round, but when they come up here to spawn is when you can really have some good luck with these numbers. I'm gonna let that fish go. First fish of the day, a little bit small. Oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna go on out on a limb here and say that's a male. <laughs> um, and we will leave it at that so we can keep it PG. Good God, buddy. Go get some go get some low. <laughs> hey, good good karma to release the first low. one here, Scott. I ain't getting none, I don't think. Yeah, he's on there. There we go. There you go. It's a little fella. Tell you what. We'll take it. I like them rigs. Thank you, man. Yeah, they're working good. Yeah. But guess what? Inspired by our trip last year, man. <laughs> um, CL and I were out here last year, and we absolutely murdered. And we had some nice fish, too. Some some were pushing 11, 12 inches. Uh, and we had a box full, probably 30 fish, maybe more. I think we caught another 30 on top of that, some of which you guys didn't see last year. But um, when we were using rigs very similar to these deadly tackle rigs that we have on here now. I'll show you here in a couple minutes. But um, I had a tackle shop ask me, hey, can you get these little rigs? And they were exactly what we used last year on the boat. Here, CL's got one up here now. So we've got three different versions of it. It's just a simple high-low rig, sinker loop at the bottom, two very small size four hooks, little swivel up at the top, 20-pound test, very simple rig. Come in three types. It's got one with nothing on it that CL's using. I've got one with beads on it, and then another one comes with little floats on it. We're selling a lot of those for uh, the beach where people are fishing for, uh, you know, kingfish and croakers and spot and that sort of thing. They work really, really well for those smaller size fish. Um, and first place we were inspired by was right here with Tangier Sound Charters. <laughs> Always the innovator, That's baby. Right, Always the innovator. Leading the way, man. Leading the way. We'll be right back with more Hooked on OC. Imagine an HVAC as unnoticeable as the air itself. Sounds pretty good, huh? Praised for being compact, quiet, and efficient, the new Daikin Fit is the perfect fit for those looking to replace their heating and air conditioning system. Right now, through Arctic Heating and Air, receive an $1,100 instant rebate as well as a free 12-year parts and labor warranty upgrade. The new Daikin Fit. Air Intelligence. helping people fulfill their dream of home ownership and you're willing to go out of your way to help them achieve it whether that means staying late to show a house and missing dinner with the family or driving an hour and a half out of your way in the snow to show that house to friends of an old client you continue to work hard but you can't do it all you need to work smart too your hands are too full doing your job to worry about title and settlement needs. You need a partner that will match your dedication and hard work. That means getting an experienced partner who will stay late with you. That means getting a reliable title and settlement partner that will go out of their way and drive an hour and a half with you. That means getting Eastern title and settlement so you can go from just working hard to working smart. Eastern title and settlement. We close anywhere, anytime. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Bait Masters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. 
Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. Welcome back. And now for some more Hooked on OC. Something was sniffing on him. He's a sniffer. He was sniffing on it, and I was like, is that a fish or what? Oh, yeah. There we go. Ah, target species. Yes, sir, buddy. Man, the beads Getting are... a little bit bigger, too, man. The beads are like bit... fishing the naked hooks not right too bad. now. Yeah, two to one. Not too... oh, that's, not, that's not terrible. That's nothing to judge yet. I'm going to be careful with this guy, because uh, the last one, he liked me. Um... I have that effect on some guys. <laughs> some people, I guess I should say. There you go, man. Definitely up here spawning. We're hoping to catch some females. We'll let the bigger females with a lot of row in them go, but this fish just, you know, you got to catch a bunch of these to make it worthwhile. And we're not trying to be greedy, but we're looking for fish in that like 11, 12 inch range. I mean, my, my thing with those perch right there is there's a taco in every fish. <laughs> you want them in the box then? <laughs> Throw them in, help me eat it. Never mind. <laughs> Throw right in the bucket. Oh! I swung and missed, but you got to see it. You got to see what I was getting ready to talk about. They're non committal. Um, they're just coming around, like, sniffing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, we got a slack tide, and we're thinking that they're probably just not as aggressive because the tide's a little slack. They're swimming around uh, with a little bit more ease than they're used to. Once this tide starts pushing in here, we got the wind blowing that direction. The tide's going to be moving that direction. We think it'll pick up a little bit. We're hoping that. We'll find um, them. Not bad for a slack tide with an opposing wind. Um, you saw that bite. I'm pretty sure you can see that in the background. That dunk, 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 dunk. That's what we're looking for. That's usually when they hook themselves. We're looking for them to actually eat the hook and eat the bait and the hook at the, you know, get it in their mouth. That's yep. not what's happening right now. Got we've it. both had these really weird pickups. Uh, that was probably the most aggressive bite that we've had so far. Uh, and I missed them. You know, <laughs> but that's fishing, right? But if it's going to happen, it's going to happen out here. You got that right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But it ain't happening in my living room. Uh -uh. Uh-uh. That's the thing, man. It's this early season like this. Some days are banned or other days we're not, but yep. man, we've had a long winter. It's just good to get it's out. It's good of. to get out here, man. Yeah. Uh, this jacket's out. coming off here in a couple of minutes. We got the next couple of days. We're fishing in March right now. You guys will probably see this toward the end of the month, maybe first part of April. Uh, but we're fishing in March right now. Last year, I looked at it just a little while ago. Last year, C and I, CL and I smoked them on March 5th. Um, was it that early? It was that early. Yeah, we smoked them yeah. on March 5th. And we're a little bit after that right now, but there's the still a bunch choker. of fish around. Look at the, yeah. On the surface, that hog choker. That is. That looks like a little flounder, guys, and that's what we get a lot, mistaken a lot for. See that little thing up there? That's a little baby juvenile hog choker, it's called. Um, they're the sole family, but we've seen people that think that that's a flounder, and it's not a flounder. It's a hog choker. Same family. John might be getting a cool shot of it, but he's coming up to warm himself in the sun. He's probably going to get eaten by a catfish if he's not careful. <laughs> I wonder how they got their name. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the cool thing about coming, man. But you just, it's all the cool stuff you get to see. Oh, yeah. We've seen an osprey already. Yeah. We see bald eagles over here all the time. Yeah, I, I said when we got out of the truck, I was like, man, I'm glad I moved to the eastern shore. Just absolutely love it. Love living down here. You ain't good. Love what we do. This, We're hooked up. This is caddy. Oh, we, what do you think it is? Is it a spinner? Uh, it, no, it's not spinning. It's just pretty heavy. All right. I'm just thinking the way it hit and the way it is fighting this catfish. I've been, oh, oh, we got, we, look at the little dude. Oh, that's what's going on. A blue channel cat. A little, a little, a little guy. A little dude. That's right, though. Well, listen to him. Listen to him honk. There he goes. All right, so little guys you can handle like this. A couple spots you got to be careful of, folks pectoral fins see that real bony and sharp on the end dorsal fin again very bony and sharp on the dorsal fin so here's what I like to do just get them boom in front of the dorsal fin get a grip on side of both pectoral fins then you can manage to handle them and these hooks are small I don't want to break them so a little twist and they're sharp. There you go. Another blue catfish out of Maryland waters. You're welcome, Mike Luisi. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Hooked on OC. You don't need it until you need it. Remove mud, sand, and other debris from your outboard engine's telltale quickly and easily with the Pisser Fixer. Don't get stuck on the water again for something so easy to fix. Never break stream again at PisserFixer.com.
catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. Improve your vision. Improve your life. Call now to schedule your exam appointment or bring your prescription in today. An Optical Galleria is the creator of Hook Optics, the hottest new brand of polarized sunglasses made to handle the most demanding environments. This award-winning practice has three convenient locations, West Ocean City, Centerville, and Easton, on the web at eyesandart.net and hookoptics.com. Hey Jess, what do you want to do tonight? You know, Scott, I was just reading through the new Sandmark's Premier Destination Guide for Ocean City and the Delaware Beaches. What a great resource of things for us to do on vacation. Yeah, I saw that on the coffee table. It's got a lot of great information about golf and fishing. So much great information. Things like dining, attractions, of course, the spa for me. It's hard to put it down. Be sure to look for your copy of the Sandmark's Destination Guide to take advantage of all the family fun the beach has to offer. Discover for yourself why the West Oak Bottle Shop is voted the area's premier destination for liquor, beer, and wine. 7,000 square feet of amazing wine from around the world, a huge selection of domestic, imported, and craft beers, and a wide range of liquors, all at the best prices. From brand favorites to small batch, hard to find treasures, the friendly and knowledgeable staff at the Westo Bottle Shop is here to help. Westo Bottle Shop, Route 50, West Ocean City, half block west of the outlets. Come on in, my thirsty friend. Something delicious awaits you. Welcome back, and now for some more Hooked on OC. Caddy or Percy Percy? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I think she's a Percy Perch. Let's get it, folks. Told you. Tide's starting to move a little bit. Let's it's get got this. a little bit of current working here. Let's get this going. I don't know. He's a spinning. Hot right, man. Oh, it's about a perch. It. it is a perch. Come aboard, baby. What's up, brother? Come aboard. We're 2-2. Two, two. Beads to naked now. It's a slow. 2-2. Two, two. It's a slow pick, but it's a pick. It is a slow pick. Another male, too, man. So, when there's males around, there's got to be females around. Catfish on your pole, he's hooked up. Oh, no doubt about it. First time. I'll tell you one thing, they're all over this bunker. All over the fresh bunker. We may not even get a chance at this one. It might be going already. I like what's going on now. I like what's going on. You guys look over on that bank. You got him, see him? Yeah. Hey, yeah, look at the bank in a minute. We got another little perchy perch, I think. Love it. Love it. A little perchy perch. A little small one, he'll go back. Not a, can't even get a whole taco out of him. Scott's hooked up! And a catfish. There we go, I got him that time. No doubt about it. And this is not one of them little one-pounders. Not Nothing huge, but this is not a one-pounder. It's going to be a, a... I don't know, you probably don't want to break your rods. You might want to net them in the boat at least. But... That was well worth grabbing a rod because that fish picked it up and I could feel the sinker that time, meaning that the fish finder rig got to the swivel. And when I felt him pick it up and move, I realized he had it in his mouth pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, that's more like it. Let's swing him over here to me, Scott. Yes, sir, coming your way. Coming to me. Yeah, okay. That's a decent fish. That's probably a three pounder. Look, look how his belly is just, he's just fat. He's got six pieces of bunker in him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's a that's a nice eater size fish. But look at that fat belly. I mean, they're eating everything on the bottom. I mean, everything from fruits and vegetables to small fish to crabs and and everything they, and they got they just they just got to go they got to go they got to so go so what what we mean by invasive species month folks is that there are a couple of invasive species in maryland that we're trying to get rid of one of which is the blue catfish another one that we see on the shore here a ton is the snakehead northern snakehead man they are really taking over these ecosystems so the maryland dnr has put together this um this idea to get rid of all of them. So Invasive Species Month is March. 
they want you to get out here and get rid of as many of those two species as you can. March not a great month for snakehead fishing, but it's going to get better and better as the weather warms up. But it's a really good month for blue cat fishing. You know, another another good thing about uh, another good thing to get involved with with these invasive species is the Coastal Conservation Association does yep. something called the Invasive Species Count. Yep. And that's a, I think it's a year long thing, or it goes over a period of time. And it's a free thing. You just every time you catch one of these uh, invasive species, whether it be a snakehead or a blue channel, okay, you just enter it, and they give away some pretty good prizes yep. for that. You know. And there's no cost. There's no cost to it. There's also some invasive species tournaments. I know one over Scott, on. You got, one, you got one on back here, Scott. There's a couple of uh, invasive species tournaments where there's catfish. There's a snakehead tournament. Most of those. Uh, this feels catty too. Meow. Like. Uh, or a decent perch, but it feels catfish. Yeah, he's catfishing. Is he? Yep. All right. Little joker. Little guy. That is not a blue channel cat. No, that's not. That's a... Uh, that's a one of the other ones. That's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's three or four species we catch in Maryland. Yeah. Um, but, you notice the difference between... Uh, the This is a brown, more brown color, and those blue cats. This is a channel cat. I think you said it right that time. Channel catfish versus blue catfish. Um, you can see a couple of differences. Still watch out for the spines on the back and the dorsal fin. So I'm going to squeeze up like this, get that out of the way. And here's a difference. You'll notice a difference in the mouth. The mouth is smaller on a channel catfish. Big distinguishing characteristic is the difference between the brown versus the gray color. Look at that mouth. That's a mouth that only a mama can love. <laughs> <laughs> you are right about that. But uh, you can see the difference in the color. That one's kind of brown. This yep. one's kind of bluish. So, and, uh, um, and these are not invasive. These these fish can be found in Maryland waters and have for probably since Maryland's been a state mm -hmm. and before that. Um, these, these guys? These were introduced and now they are taking over uh, ecosystems. So we want to get rid of them. This guy, he's going to go back. We'll be right back with more Hooked on OC. How much protection from the beach would you need to match the Arctic Air Coastal Series air conditioner? Still not enough. Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. Featuring the finest and largest fleet of charter boats in the Mid-Atlantic region, the Ocean City Fishing Center has been the premier spot for offshore sports fishing for four decades. Whether it's a family outing, a corporate event, or just a day on the water with your friends, all our charters are led by Coast Guard licensed captains and boast knowledgeable crews dedicated to helping you catch the big one. Call us today and book your charter. We accommodate groups of all sizes. The Ocean City Fishing Center. The locals know it's the best place to go. Since 1971, G&E Hardware and Sporting Goods in Ocean View, Delaware has been the shop you trust for all your DIY projects, services, and outdoor needs. With top brands like Benelli Shotguns, Steel Power Equipment, Weber Grills, Yeti Coolers, Extra Tough Boots, and Milwaukee Tools, G&E Hardware has everything you need for home improvement and outdoor recreation. We also offer an array of services, including window screen replacement, chainsaw and small engine repair, non-ethanol gas pumps, and custom color paint matching with Valspar paints. G&E Hardware, we've got what you need. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateag Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. 6G. Network, 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 network. Welcome back, and now for some more Hooked on OC. <laughs> helicopter race. The helicopter caught me a fish. He scared this one into biting. 
Oh, that's a nice perch. Ooh, nice perch. Oh, yeah, baby. baby. Yeah. Now, we're in, now we're cooking with fire, brother. That's a, that's a two taco. Yes, sir. Look at that. Did you get hooked up too? No. Oh, that's what we're looking for. One you can put the thumb in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, baby. There we go, dude. That's a good one. That's definitely a. Yeah. Is, are we talking slab yet? No, we're talking definitely a, just That's, two tacos. Okay, two tacos, not slab yet. Slabs, we need another about half inch up top and another inch or so in the back. But no okay. slouch. No slouch. That's a nice fish. That's probably 10 and a half, maybe. Yeah. Beautiful white perch over here on the Wakamico. Um, that's going in the box. And here's the deal, man. That's it. You can get all of this. All of this right now. We're going to prop them up. West Ocean City, Sunset Provisions. Everything I'm holding right now. Um, Deadly Tackle High Low Rigs, they've got those in stock. And they just put these in stock this past week. The Deadly Tackle six foot six spinning rod. That's us. And they've paired it with the Pen Battle 3 2500. This combo is really, really awesome. See, Ellen and I were talking about just a few minutes ago how balanced this stick is. I got a two ounce sinker on the other end of it, but. You can see how balanced this is, just where you want it, man. Easy to hold all day long, and they've got it, all this stuff right there at Sunset Provisions. Go by and pick it up. Yeah, one of the blood things, worms now. Blood worms they don't. Have. One of the things that I liked about that rod when I first picked it up at the Oasis City Show, Scott, yeah. was I mean the whole thing weighs what five, six ounces? Not even five. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's real light. Number one, the tip on it, I mean, is made so the action on it, it's, it's going to be a great casting rod. It's going to be a great rod for popping corks and stuff for speckled trout yep. um, and the reel seat's well made i know on a lot of rods we have problems with the reel seat when you, you know you get a little bit bigger fish sometimes the reel works loose and that reel seat's well made i think you've done a good job with it i appreciate that very much it's something that we you know you guys know we're jpr uh, folks too we love a jpr rod um, but it's in a price point where it's a custom rod right you're going to pay 260 270 um, you get to put your name on it you can put your logo on it you can get different wraps colors and everything all the way up and down this is a stock rod right nothing pretty about it although the colors and everything are really really nice you want that custom option jprrods.com hit them up uh, but i appreciate cl uh, giving us the giving us the compliments on that it's something that we're going to use it's not i didn't just grab this off the shelf i sent these specs to our manufacturer just like i did with the casting version you'll see in upcoming episodes but this is something that we're going to use in the chesapeake bay the back bays of ocean city i even used the prototype last year when i was fishing on the morning star we call it mahi up to 15 pounds so it's going to be perfect for all that inshore type stuff there's only one size six foot six in this one seven foot in the casting both available over at sunset provisions right now and it's got enough backbone in it scott well, when you get a bigger fish on i think you'll be able to uh no problem yeah. to handle him as well yeah we caught we caught mahi up about 15 pounds on the morning start but that was no fun problem. that was a lot of fun a perch up to about three ounces. <laughs> that, is, that looks like a perch, just smaller. <laughs> you know what that is? That's a catfish bait. Oh, look, he's happy to see me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, man. Not the first time that's happened. Nah, yeah, man. Have fun now. We've caught it all. The only one we're missing, there's, there's a bite. The only one we're missing, last year we caught a couple of really small stripers. I don't mind not catching stripers up here. They're getting ready to spawn too. And we don't want to we don't want to hassle any of them, but sometimes they're attracted to these baits too. But bunker working really, really well for the catfish. I think we're gonna catch another one of those. Um, and these blood worms now with this tide moving, white perch time. Well so far we're up to what we've you wanna got? get picked that up and try it? It's okay. getting bit enough. Let, let him eat it. Let him eat it. So we've got two different uh, species of channel cat. Got uh, the uh, white perch. We got the white perch, or, yep. or black perches, as we call them in Saxes. And uh, <laughs> right. yeah, and um, and we saw a hog choker. That's right. So, that hog choker so, was pretty cool. The so things are working out. That's probably why we saw that osprey flying around. If you've got those little fish, like that small hog, ch hog choker we showed you guys a little while ago, you got those little teeny fish coming up to the surface to sun themselves, warm up a little bit. That's probably why these ospreys are flying around. They're up there, they're up there scoping it out. They can see way better from up above than they can from down low. So they're getting the bird's eye view, <laughs> pardon the pun. And they're swoop, coming down and swooping those little fish up as they sit on the surface. Mm -hmm. Eastern shore, man, love it. Ain't no place like it. No. Oh, my buddy's just wrote a song. It's called uh, Living on the Eastern Shore. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's pretty good, man. Uh, Johnny Moe from down in Cockett Mallards has wrote this song, Living on the Eastern Shore. Yeah. 
he's had it for a while it's been kind of crap and he's finally got it the way he wants it and uh it's pretty good that's awesome we'll be right back with more hooked on oc DIY is your local ceramic coating company. With over 30 years of experience, we guarantee your boat is in the best possible hands. Ceramic coating protects your gel coat and vinyl for years. Your boat will be much quicker and easier to wash and be looking brand new every time it's cleaned. We have a professional friendly team of detailers to complete your ceramic coating job in a timely manner. And yes, we do cars too. With two convenient locations in Bishopville and Fruitland, we make the process easy. Call us today to schedule your consultation or visit us at DIYMarineMD.com. Some things change over time, like bank names and their locations. Superior customer service never changes at Bank of Ocean City. But don't take my word for it. Come in and see for yourself at one of our six convenient locations. We invest in our local community because we know it matters. Safe and secure since 1916, Bank of Ocean City, providing customer service that other banks just talk about. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Get ready for four days of fun in the sun at Springfest. Enjoy amazing food, live entertainment, unique artisan products, and more. With over 200 artisan vendors, local food, and enhanced selections of beer and wine, don't miss this free event located at the Ocean City Inlet from May 2nd through the 5th. Springfest features two stages and more than 30 live performances, including headliners, The Olivia Show, a tribute to Olivia Newton-John, country music sensation Lauren Elena, and alternative rock band Everclear. Don't miss out. Get all the details at OCOcean.com slash Springfest. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater center console and Sylvan pontoon boat dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. Welcome back, and now for some more Hooked on OC. Oh yeah, baby. Perchy. Oh yeah. Little catfish. That's a perch. That's a perch. perch. That's a perch. Oh, yeah. oh boy, that's a good one too there, CL. We're in the game. Nice one. Oh, that was another male. Dude, that's a nice one. Another male. I don't think we've caught a female yet. We have not caught a female, but I'll tell you what. You tell them, man. Yeah. Normally they call them white perch, but as they get up in this water, in this uh, tannic acid water, they take a little dark color. That's where the black perch name comes from. That's just a term, right? Yeah. A colloquial yeah. name. Colloquial. Yeah. Sometimes you hear the difference between white and black crappy. That's an actual distinction between the two species. This is not. These are white perch, but they call them black perch because they're dark. Perchy. We'll take him. We will take him. Oh, yeah. Nice. This is a nice quality fish, man. Yeah, they're all good. We'll take this. They're my favorite fish to eat. They're really good. That and sea bass. Yeah, they're yeah. really good. Sea bass is my favorite, but you're right. These are good. These are a lot cheaper to catch than sea bass. And there's no size limit on these, correct? There's no size. No size limit, no creel limit? None. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Um, you guys watched the last show. I neglected to say the yellow perch stuff. Yellow perch, there is a size limit. It's nine inches. Uh, and there is a creel limit in Maryland waters. That's ten, 10 fish per person. So Brian Minty and I were way below both, or way good on both of those. Our fish, I don't think we kept anything under 12 inches. Got them. Um, and we had fish to 14 and a half, some absolute studs. Now, Thanks again, Eric. Um, and we only kept, I think, 15 when one final count came in. Now, on these, on these white, on these yellow perch, there's a, what's going on with the hooks thing there, Scott? Man, I'm, I wish I could thing? tell you the details, details, but basically what it boils down to is if you're using live bait in a tributary of the Chesapeake Bay. Like minnows. But live minnows, yep. So we were using live minnows. Again, we were fine. We were, um, the way the rule is stated is, Maryland waters tributaries of the Chesapeake Bay. 
we were not in Maryland waters in the tributary of the Chesapeake Bay, even though you heard us say Nanticoke, right? Um, that's all I have to say about that. Um, but we were good. We were really good with, the, we were off good with the rigs we were using. But Maryland law now states if you're using live bait, live minnows included, in a tributary of the Chesapeake Bay, you have to use circle hooks, even this size. So we're talking circle hooks like yay big, um, and that's just a tough one. So hopefully they revisit that for this kind of thing. I think there's a way you can maybe do a different regulation. They're trying to protect striped bass, I get that. Um, and striped bass will eat live minnows, there's no two ways about that. Striped bass also eat blood worms, night crawlers, chunks of bunker, that sort of thing. So um, there's, there's really some work I think there to be done. About that circle hook rule. But this, ultimate goal, protect the striped bass, I have no problem with. But this does not affect flounder fishing on the seaside, is that correct? This is just tributaries of the Chesapeake Bay. Okay. Yeah, tributaries of the Ches Chesapeake Bay. So, no, if you're talking flounder fishermen in Ocean City using live bait down there, no problem. Yep. So I thought I missed that bite. Um, I thought I missed the bite, and I, I did not. But why did I not realize I didn't miss the bite? Because this catfish had a hold of it and he just laid back on the bottom. So when he picked it up and ate it, I felt it initially. I set the hook, he must have swam at me a couple of feet. I felt the slack, thought I'd missed the bite. So I just let it sit there. And then I said, darn it, I better check my bait. As I go to pick up my bait, pull it in and check the hook. The weight of the fish is on there. So this little channel catfish had eaten my bait. I didn't realize it. And then he just laid on the bottom, waiting and digested. That's the Snoop Dogg bite, laid back. <laughs> my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Fiash! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, that's a Saxon's Island release. Oh, pretty work. Yeah. You have to mess with Didn't the, even have uh, to handle him. You didn't have to mess with the, the D hooker or nothing. All right, so we're going to give us a couple more minutes. We're hoping to catch one more perch or two, and then. CL's got an idea to go creeping down one of these creeks and try and have luck with uh, some larger catfish. We're hoping on these bunker, these cut bunkers. So um, if you haven't gone to get a donut or a cup of coffee yet, go take care of that. We'll be right back after the break. We'll be right back with more Hooked on OC. Everybody looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fish and OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Just what exactly does Okaya mean? Okaya means strength. Okaya means dependability. Okaya means value. Okaya means fishing. Since 2016, Captain Steve Wagner, Roy Dove, Alan Stanton, Mick Young, and Brandon Cassidy have competitively fished the Mid-Atlantic as the PYY fishing team. Currently fishing a 2022 36-foot Cape Horn, the PYY fishing team has hit the podium more than 30 times, including a $103,000 win in the 2020 White Marlin Open. Join our current partners, the Alan Stanton Group, the Tom Lotta Team, Wiseman Electric, and Under Armour Fish, and let us represent your brand at over 15 major events each year. Contact Mike at PYYMarine.com to get on board. Welcome back, and now for some more Hooked on OC. 
Hey guys, what's up? Scott Lennox here, Anglers Advantage Time. This time we are in the parking lot at Atlantic Tackle, right across the street from Sunset Grill, right down the street from Sunset Marina and Sunset Provisions. And we are in the parking lot during the White Marlin Open. You guys aren't seeing this until much, much later. But I'm here with Kaylee Smith. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Kaylee's from Costa. And if you guys have been to Atlantic Tackle ever before, you've seen basically the wall display that they've got in there. It's absolutely huge. I'm not even sure how many pairs it is. A couple of hundred I pairs. I think that's a, like a 170. 170. Yeah. It just in the case, and Michelle and her crew have got back stock on all this stuff. So you guys have a great relationship with Atlantic Tackle oh, yeah. here in Westo. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't be here for the White Marlin Open yep. with the big, you know, uh, van and all that Every stuff. Every year. So, yeah. So tell me about product that's coming out new. You guys have some cool new lady stuff coming out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we just launched our King Tide. It's a new performance piece that we came out with. Yeah. Um, it's got all of the great new features that we are using with our Pro Series. So you got your spring hinges. And this one's uh, extra special because it's got these removable side oh, shields. Oh, check that out, okay. So you get the coverage during the day while you're fishing, and then when you decide to go get your cocktail during happy hour, you just remove that, and you got a really nice lifestyle piece. Very, very cool. The other thing that we're kind of coming try out this. with... Oh, please do. I can put that back for you. That's for big head dudes too, like now, me. You can you can kind of see the the different aspects. You got your side shield yep. on this side, and you got a little bit less coverage over there. Lennox fishing, Lennox deck party. There you go. <laughs> Yep, so uh, that's, really a, that's a great new launch. We just won Best Eyewear category at iCast oh, this year. Oh, congratulations. That's yeah, awesome. With this piece, so wow. make sure to go check that out. Um, as far as the ladies out there, we're, we just came out with two new lenses, um, obviously for ladies and guys, but this piece here is a great women's piece. This is the Irie. It comes in a, a tortoise frame, and this is the, um, the rose gradient. So you can see okay. it's a little bit darker on the top here, but a little bit lighter on the bottom. It's a great walk around pair. The water looks great when you have them on. Okay, so that's a new lens. New lens. I'm, I'm used to blue mirror, uh, silver mirror, amber, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so that's so brand new. Yeah, this is kind of an amber base. This this yep. actually comes in a gray gradient as well. Okay. So the same base as the blue mirror has is the gray, but it has that gradient effect. Very cool look. You've got silver mirror on there. I like that quite yeah, a bit. This yeah, is a, this is a copper base with the silver mirror. That's awesome. If people want to check out the line before they come shop Atlantic Tackle, how do they do that online with Coast's website, all that good stuff? Yeah, so you can just go to the website, and uh, it'll show you kind of what new styles are coming out. Uh, if, they, if you have a fan favorite that you want to check out, you can see what's available on the website. But we always encourage our customers to go shop local and support our local retailers. So come check them out here. Yeah, and that's what you're going to want to do, guys. You, get, you know as well as anybody, when you're watching the show, if you wear something, sunglasses like all of us do that fish you got to try these on right you got a big dome like me you got to put sunglasses on try them out see how they fit see how they look get the wife or boyfriend to approve them atlantic tackle in west ocean city is a place to do that stop by and see them in person great hours all year long they're only closed for about two weeks during the middle of the winter to do inventory other than that they're open with some great hours you want to get in touch with them by phone it's 410-213-0421 great meeting you kaylee Thank nice you so job much. guys yeah. we'll be back in just a second with a little bit more hooked on oc stay tuned We'll be right back with more Hooked on OC. At Spencer Yachts, your dreams can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style of boat building and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Spencer Yachts Brokerage is Spencer Yachts' in-house trusted yacht broker with extensive market knowledge. New to Spencer Yachts Brokerage is the beautiful 77-foot Jarrett Bay Boatworks sport fish, Mama Who. Check out Mama Who and all that Spencer Yachts Brokerage has to offer at SpencerYachtsInc.com. Aquatraction Custom Design Marine Flooring Products have exceptional traction wet or dry, making your boat safer, cleaner, and more comfortable. Aquatraction Flooring is durable, stain resistant, and backed with 3M adhesive specifically designed to withstand the harshest marine environments. With 23 nationwide reps, Aquatraction has an unmatched three-year warranty, provides the fastest turnaround time, and has unparalleled customer service. Check out Aquatraction.com to find out why I've got it in my boat and how it's charter proven all around the country. Welcome to Premier Coatings and Flooring, your local experts in durable flooring solutions. Enhance your space with PCF's expertise in epoxy flooring, polished concrete, and industrial painting. Our applicators are driven by knowledge and passion, experienced in commercial flooring that combines style and functionality. PCF has worked with local businesses in every industry. We even installed decorative epoxy floors for garages in a single day. PCF, building the mid-Atlantic region with flooring that works as hard as you do. 
Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry, combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top-name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. Welcome back. And now for some more Hooked on OC. All right. All you got to do is let it sit and think you got nothing on there. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. <laughs> What do you know? You guys remember what this one is? Blue cat or channel? Big mouth only. That's a blue. Blues go in the bucket, channels go back in the channel. There's also a white catfish that's native to uh, Maryland, but I don't know too much about that one. I don't know either. I've heard people talk about them. I, yeah. I don't know. Google it. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Different one? Yep. It's a kitty cat. Yeah, baby. It's a spinner. <laughs> Look at him spinning. He is spinning, spinning. <laughs> Scott, that was on your perch for life. Hey, thanks, man. Decent fish, too, man. About the size of that first one, right? Or that bigger one. Yeah, that's the kind we're looking for, baby. Sweet. Teamwork makes a dream work, baby. You got it, man. <laughs> He's a little bit bigger than the other one. Kitty cat. Look at the size of the head on these things. So, guys... <laughs> Once they start, they're always, they always have a big head. Once they start getting into this size range and as they get larger, the head really takes over the body. Most of their weight is gonna be from the dorsal fin forward um, with the, the head and the guts. Look at the size of the head on this thing. That's only about a, I don't know, I'd say- it's As big as my fist. Maybe six pounds, maybe five, six pounds. Four or five, six pounds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's between four and six pounds, we would guess. Um, and these fish get to upwards of, I mean, honestly, they probably get to over 100 pounds. State record in Maryland is 84 pounds. 84 pound blue catfish. Um, so when you catch something in the five, five pound range, it's like big whoopee, a lot of fun, but you get an 80 pound fish on there, whoa. I wonder what their growth rate is. But you know, as much as they eat, I mean, these things eat everything. They gotta grow fast. They're devastating. They They're devastating to the crab population, the juvenile fish population. They're saying everything. I mean, so I don't, I don't know anything they don't eat. I've, I've caught one that actually had uh, some sort of vegetation in it. So yeah, yeah, little berries and stuff. They eat a little bit of everything. So yep. they got to go. I saw one eat a rocking chair once. A rocking chair. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. All right, that's it, man. Did we did catch one more nice catfish? Uh, got several white perch in the box, but. Time to hit the road. I got a seminar to do. The CL's got some people to annoy. Absolutely. See you in a minute. We'll be right back with more Hooked on OC. If you've got to get your seafood fix on, you've got to hit Crabs to Go on the corners of Route 50 and 589 in West Ocean City. They've got fresh locally caught fish, scallops, and other seafood, and the hottest, fattest, tastiest crabs on earth. Call ahead for fresh, hot carryout. Get ready for the opening of Jolly Roger Amusement Park. This will be our last sale before the season starts. Visit us online at jollyrogerpark.com to buy your discounted passes for the summer. 
and check out the passes for all of our parks from March 1st to March 28th. Use special code JOLLYBEAN2024 to save 25% off all passes and merchandise. Make 2024 another Jolly Roger Park summer. For over 50 years, Grady White Boats and Taylor Marine Center have shared a legacy of excellence, a partnership built on quality and trust. Step into Taylor Marine Center, your award-winning destination for Grady White Boats. Our commitment to excellence has made us a proud recipient of numerous awards. Grady White Boats are crafted to exceed your expectations and meet your boating lifestyle. With two convenient locations, Taylor Marine Center is your trusted Grady White Boats dealer. Experience the difference that over 50 years of partnership can make. Grady White Boats, Taylor Marine Center, where quality meets passion. Electric, a trusted name since 1918, is now providing commercial and residential services to the Eastern Shore. We place emphasis on customer service through communication and quality work. Hawkins Electric specializes in marinas, pedestals, and boat lifts, along with a vast array of electrical services. Contact us to have one of our highly skilled licensed technicians dispatched to your property, home, or marina to address your electrical needs. Hawkins Electric, wired for service. You don't buy an ordinary chair for the beach, so why would you buy an ordinary air conditioner for the beach? Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. Welcome back, and now for some more Hooked on OC. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Another great trip, man, thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks a lot. We, um, I think you know this because you, you mentioned it. We teased you a little bit in that uh, Big Bird episode because <laughs> <laughs> our fishing trip with C.L. Marshall turned into a fishing trip with Big Bird proper that night because we didn't catch nothing. Well, uh, but, but, but that, that, in his defense, <laughs> that, that time of year, you know, that was you early. Know, that man. was early January. That was yeah. a hero or zero that thing. Was but, you but said we, that ahead of time too. But we did a little bit better today. We did way better today, man. Target species. We got this invasive species month that I think you made up somewhere along the line. <laughs> we did have invasive species week. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, right. and, and it, it, listen, it's all about trying to get these fish out of Maryland waters. Um, flathead catfish, blue catfish, and um, northern snakehead, all invasive species in Maryland. So if you catch them, kill them, basically. Um, yeah. They're not catch and release fish. We want them out of our waterways because they're really destroying ecosystems, especially over here on the eastern shore where yeah. uh, some of us think that those snakeheads, they've taken over some waterways and they're not going anywhere. We can do as, we can do as much damage to the population as we can try to, but they're here and they're here to stay just because uh, they're very, very uh, hardy fish. They, they multiply like rabbits. Um, and they can eat pretty much anything. They can live in water conditions. A lot of other fish can't, so they're just built for the eastern shore of Maryland, and there's a lot of them over here. So snakeheads uh, probably aren't going anywhere, but we can at least try and keep the population down so these other fish can thrive and don't disappear. Yeah, um, now with the blue channel cats, uh, not only are they fun to catch and they're abundant, I yep. mean, you can get your rod bent on those a lot, but they're also delicious. They're good I eats, mean, man. All, you, all these fish are. Flatheads, I'm not, I haven't heard too much on, no. uh, but blue catfish are very good, and, and northern snakehead is delicious from what I hear from some people. It is. I had some uh, last year that, that I got, and uh, the, the meat was much like mahi, you know, very fine grain, very white meat, and the, yep. the blue channel cat, when you clean it, you'll be amazed at how white that meat is yep. and how delicious it is. It makes great fish nuggets. Yep, fried, fried uh, catfish I had when I was a kid, really good. It's delicious, yep. man. But today we had a good day. Of had a great day, man. Great day, perch day. Fishing. White perch target species was acquired, and we didn't catch any females. I thought we'd see a female or two yeah. with the spawn getting ready to happen, but um, plenty of males. Plenty of males. Jacket to, to show yeah. for it. <laughs> plenty of males, man. <laughs> they were glad to see yeah. me. Yeah, and, and we caught some quality fish here toward the end. Yeah. Yeah, the first couple of fish were in that, you know, eight, nine inch range, yeah, not much on those, but we caught some, we caught some 11 inch fish there toward the end, and some really nice fillets on them, so clean those up and, and, and put them in Lake Crisco. Taco uh, every when fish. Time can't, when time comes, yeah, that's, yeah, that's for sure. All right, guys, here you go. There you go. Deadly tackle rods all around town right now. Check in lots of Ocean City locations, Sunset Provisions, if you want to get the combo. 
pen reel on the deadly tackle spinning rod. Now these things work really well. They work today. really well. Yeah, those I mean, are yours. Thank you. Thank you. The high, these high low rigs. I mean, they're only about maybe 18 inches. Uh, the hooks are well set apart and they're sharp too. They, yeah, be careful if you're using these. Those hooks are sticky. Good products. They work. Thank you very much. And it was partly due to you from our fishing trip last year. So you can pick us, those up in all kinds of Ocean City tackle shops too. If you live out of the area and you're watching a show on YouTube or something like that, deadly-tackle.com for all this stuff. Um, bro, thanks again, yeah, man. Look, we really appreciate you. Give them the contact info. You said people are calling you when they watch <laughs> when they watch us on TV and our shenanigans. So if you want to get on board with CL, here's how you do it. Yeah, it's amazing how many people see the show and, and comment on it. And we really appreciate that. That's for sure. We work hard here at Tangier Saint Charters for everybody to have a good time, you know, and, and once in a while the fish cooperate. But yeah, give us a call. I mean, right now we're booking, uh, you know, red drum, black drum, speckled trite fishing in the spring. Um, last year was just off the chain and we, we hope we'll have that same fishery again. You can find us on Facebook at Tangier St. Charters, or you can do it the old school way via the telephone at 410-251-7341. If I'm fishing, I might not get back to you real quick, but I will get back to you, that's for sure. I do return the phone calls and, uh, you know, looking forward to another good year. And uh, and it's the viewership and, and the people that go fishing with me that make it possible. And, uh, man, let's go fishing. That's right. Yep, easy. John will put the stuck contact info down here at the bottom as well. Put his phone number down there. And I got to show you this because we just saw it today. First flounder caught in Chincoteague, Maryland today down there. Steve, Captain Steve's bait and tackle. There she is, guys. It's Cat? March It's March the 12th. You guys are seeing this way after March the 12th. Who called it? And I, uh, Captain Tim. Captain he, Tim. He always does, man. They caught those first fish early March last year. First fish in Ocean City was caught March the 26th last year. I think after this trade show, you guys might see it by now if this show takes a couple of weeks to get out there, but I'm going fishing for that first flounder in Ocean City that last week in March because that first fish is in Chincoteague, Virginia. I guarantee there's a couple in Ocean City heading this way, so make sure you stick around for that Follow our social media. It's hooked on OC on both Instagram and Facebook. Um, I fish in OC in, on Instagram and fish in OC on Facebook. Tangier Sound Charters on Instagram and Facebook, too. We appreciate you guys being with us every single week for our 20th year. Stay tuned next time for another episode. We'll see you then. Thank you, guys.